Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to address a very popular question that I get on my channel, and that is, how do I know if my iPhone has been infected with any type of malware or virus, and what can I do to fix this? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about everything you can do to avoid malware on your iPhone and how to remove any malware or virus if you have any installed on your iPhone. So let's dive right in. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is Safari. If you've ever visited an untrusted website and you've ever seen one of these prompts here, you see this one here says, three viruses have been detected. It's asking me to download or install a profile. You never want to do any of that. Now, maybe this is what prompts you to watch this video, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get away from one of these prompts. And the problem with one of these in Safari is that they constantly keep prompting you, not letting you close the tab or they re-emerge. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to fix this one here. So the first thing you wanna do is head on over into settings. You wanna scroll down until you find the Safari extension. There it is. Then you wanna head on over down here where it says right there, clear history and web data. By clearing history and web data, that prompt will disappear. Your Safari will go back to stock. Now keep in mind, this will close out all of your tabs and everything within Safari will be deleted like the history of cookies and everything like that. But this will remove the prompt. And again, these prompts here usually happen if you visit any uh, uncertified websites. So just try to stay away from websites that look kind of sketchy and avoid clicking on links that are provided to you by someone that you don't know. That's number one thing to avoid. Number two is if you're trying to install a third-party application, make sure that the actual third-party app store has been trusted for quite some time. Now, there's uh, some third-party app store that are taking advantage of apps and installing malware within the apps that give you additional ads in order for them to make some revenue. Now, again, I'm not saying that all third-party app stores are doing this, but a lot of them are, and this could cause your iPhone to feel warmer than usual, and that's a sign that you do have some type of malware within in the application if your iphone just crashes if your iphone reboots when you install a third-party application you want to make sure you remove that app from your device if you see ads normally where you're not seeing ads before that could be a bad sign so make sure that if you do choose to install a third-party app from a third-party app store if you see as i mentioned any additional ads where you wasn't seeing ads before or if you see that your iphone or notice that your iphone is warmer to the touch more warmer than normal then you want to quickly remove that application now another thing that could cause a virus is jailbreaking yes i know jailbreaking is all always been something that I've done to my iPhones, at least my secondary devices, because I love modifying my iOS devices. However, jailbreaking itself, it's not prone to give you viruses. Uh, nowadays, developers are, I want to say, more responsible than they were before. They actually patch the exploit used to jailbreak. So it's hard to kind of get a virus from jailbreaking from official sources. However, after you jailbreak, if you head on over to Cydia and you download a third-party app that normally isn't available with any app store or a jailbreak tweak from a source that isn't trusted and you notice that your iPhone is overheating, is constantly booting up or rebooting and it's just giving you all kinds of problems. You see ads, random ads everywhere. You definitely want to go back into Cydia or any jailbreak app store that you have installed and remove that jailbreak tweak or application from your device immediately. As I mentioned, jailbreaking itself will most likely not give you a virus, but the apps that are linked to third party or untrusted sources could give you a virus or malware. This is very, very serious stuff, especially for jailbroken devices because they can really grab control of your iOS device after you've jailbroken. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about in this video is third-party profiles. Now, this one is very, very serious as well because this can actually take control of your iOS device. So for example, this here is Apple's developer portal. If I download the beta profile, it's gonna prompt me here to go click and allow, and then I can go into settings and install this profile. Obviously, this is an Apple profile, so nothing's going to happen. Once you click install, I'll be able to install iOS 14 beta software, and you can find these profiles down here 
under general and then heading over to profiles as you can see right there i can install these profiles for betas however there's other profiles that you could install onto your iphone especially to theme your iphone without a jailbreak or to install third-party app stores onto your iphone this is always an iffy situation you want to stay away from untrusted sources again if you head on over to general scroll down into profiles and you have a profile recently installed that's causing your iphone to overheat or to reboot constantly and again if you're seeing random ads where you normally don't see ads you want to remove that immediately from your ios device and the way you remove any profiles obviously going into the profile section and just make sure you uninstall the profile itself so all you have to do is reverse the process enter your passcode and this should prompt you to remove the profile from your iphone as i mentioned this one is official from apple's developer portal it's just an example obviously this one is good to go but just keep in mind those are some of my personal tips and recommendations how to stay away from viruses if you've gotten some malware how to remove it as well as preventing these from happening to your ios device so let me know what you think in those comments down below have you ever come across anything like this and i hope this video helped you in somewhat thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace